The logic of an infinite quantum and universal cosmic consciousness generated by a static, electromagnetic, and living universe of light within a limitless, dark, and eternal plasma. If, in fact, as suspected by Edwin Hubble, allowed by Albert Einstein's equations of general relativity, and now increasingly confirmed by startling telescopic observations, the universe is not expanding, it may be composed of an infinite number of electromagnetic mother galaxies of varying agents living in the dark plasma. If the universe was not created by gravity, it is more likely the result of electromagnetic processes within an eternal, electrically neutral, and conductive plasma consisting of hydrogen atoms, free electrons, and naked protons, as proposed by physics Nobel laureate Hans Noll Alden in 1970. Thus, the force of gravity may simply be the observable manifestation of the quantum entanglement of stars and their planets, their mother galaxies and their galaxy family clusters, and their related clusters, all of which are relatively and quantumly bound to each other. Therefore, an infinite, endless expanse of mother galaxies will probably generate an infinite number of stars orbited by innumerable fecund earth and water planets that naturally grow organic life. These planetary gardens can sprout an infinite array of living beings with physical brains that evolve powers of observation. Physical brains have the potential to metamorphosize into non-physical quantum minds having a conscious awareness of self and physical surroundings. If the origination of mind is the natural result of quantum activity, then consciousness likely exists beyond the electrical, chemical, and biological processes that create it. Thus, the perceivable, forever unique creations of conscious thought become the observable manifestations and evidence of quantum processes. As quantum minds arise, they may entangle in superposition with an infinite universal consciousness. Once bonded, aware minds may survive beyond the lifetimes of the brains that generate them. Furthermore, if the universe is infinite and non-expanding, Without beginning or end, there is no arrow of time. And in the absence of observation, every particle of physical mass simultaneously moves timelessly relative to other mass to which it is quantumly bound. Conclusively, we, as individually unique beings of mind, exist to the extent we can comprehend the scientific reality of an abiding, patiently observing, and non-judgmental universal consciousness without reference to time, religion, philosophy, or metaphysics. We are mankind on Earth. We are creators, and our creations are magnificent to behold. Just look at what we have done by working together.
The author especially thanks Eric J. Lerner and his book, The Big Bang Never Happened, for introducing evidence disproving the standard model of cosmology, and Professor Louis Marmet for his invitation to join a cosmology group where dissident scientists have the freedom to disagree with settled science and to publish alternative theories refused by mainstream authorities. Dedicated to Christian Birkeland, Edwin Hubble, and Hans Alvin, who discovered the electromagnetic plasma universe and whose work has been mischaracterized and misused by the gravitationalists, who defend the false Big Bang cosmology by ignoring and disparaging all challenges. Music by Scott Buckley and Johannes Brahms. To be presented by William John Cox at the Science of Consciousness Conference in Tucson, Arizona in April 22nd to the 27th of 2024. Greatly appreciated. Abi Montefiore and Stuart Hammeroff at the Center for Consciousness Studies at the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona for making this presentation possible.